uh, in pit road. There you see Tim Salter, the 56 car on the front stretch. Now, what you would like to That's a hard hit on the inside. What well, is? McMurray. Sauter took a, a pretty good hit right behind the, or right in the left rear of his car. There you see the 36, that's Tim's car. And Huffman sliding in there and McMurray there as well. Able to climb out of his race car in a neck brace. Was put on a stretcher, then loaded into the ambulance and is headed for the infield care center. Travis is going to make a little contact with the 07 of Tim Sauter, just racing right there. Todd, really nowhere to go. The zero, uh, 29 goes by him. The double zero does a nice job getting through there, and Joey Clanton makes some pretty hard contact. Man, did you hear that? That was a hard lick. I believe the car that just snuck through on the inside was Kenny Schrader. Here is Ken. Some of that old bump drafting stuff that we uh, saw at Daytona. Hadn't seen any of it since Daytona, but uh, got very similar results what we saw happening at Daytona. Back up the racetrack into the 61. Now watch this when 11, the 61 comes down and Elton hits him running wide open. Nowhere for Tim Sauter in the 61 to go, and as they slide down off the banking, it's nowhere for Elton Sawyer. What a hit. And let me tell you, the 61 car, Tim Sauter's lucky that wasn't in the driver's door. It was just behind the driver's door, and that, that was a blessing. Once again, the whole problem, the 11 car, Marty Houston, got those left side tires below the white line on the apron, shot him up the racetrack, and spun him. Second week in a row that Marty Houston has had a single car sprint to bring out a caution. 